counterterrorism strike achieved the desired objective it has demonstrated our firm resolve to take decisive action against cross border terrorism on 27th february pakistan instead of taking action against terrorist groups on its soil chose to escalate through an act of aggression by violating our air space and attempting unsuccessfully to target our military facilities their action was effectively thwarted by the alertness and readiness of our armed forces we have been transparent and open in informing the media on 27th february itself that in the process of defending our national sovereignty and territorial integrity one mig 21 bison was lost in action and wing commander abhinandan had to bail out and landed in park occupied jammu and kashmir pakistan however continues to propagate a false narrative of the events of that day the statement made by our indian air force is in the public domain only one aircraft was lost by us if as pakistan claims they have a video recording of the downing of the second indian aircraft why have they not shared the evidence or the video with the international media even after more than one week questions should be asked to them as to where the fuselage of the aircraft is and what has happened to the pilots as we have already said there are eye witness accounts and electronic evidence that pakistan deployed f16 aircrafts and that one f16 was shot down by wing commander abhinandan evidence of the use of amra missile which can only be deployed on the f16 with pakistan has also been shown to the media pakistan should explain why it continues to deny that its f16 aircraft has been shot down we have asked the united states to also examine whether the use of f16 against india is in accordance with the terms and conditions of sale since the pulwama attack the international community has stood with india in their condemnation of the attack as well as in asking pakistan to take concrete action against terrorist and terror infrastructure in territories under the control of pakistan the united nations security council unanimously issued a press statement in which they have explicitly referred to the jaish e mohammed as having claimed responsibility for the attack the un security council press statement also calls for perpetrators organizers financiers and sponsors of terrorism to be held accountable and brought to justice it is regrettable that pakistan is still continues to deny jaish e mohammed's own claim of taking ownership of the pulwama attack in his interview to bbc on 1st march pakistan foreign minister said and i quote they have not claimed responsibility of that he means pulwama attack there is some confusion on that the confusion is that the leadership has been contacted and they said no unquote is pakistan defending the jaish e mohammed and acting as its spokesperson does pakistan's claim have any credibility in 2004 the then president of pakistan had made a solemn public commitment that they would not allow any territory under their control to be used for terrorist activity in any manner 
but till today pakistan has failed to take any credible action against jaish e mohammed and other terrorist organizations which continue to operate with impunity from pakistan the widespread presence of terrorist camps in pakistan is a public knowledge both within and outside pakistan repeated requests by us and the international community for pakistan to take action against such groups has been met with denial since 26th february following demands from the international community pakistan is again claiming to take fresh action against terror groups on its soil in an interview to cnn on 28th february the foreign minister of pakistan has said and i quote well he which is masood azhar is in pakistan according to my information unquote claims are being made that terrorist organizations will be proscribed that some individuals have been placed in preventive detention and that some action has been taken against seminaries and madrasas belonging to terrorist groups we are seeing the same script that has been played out earlier after the terrorist attacks on our parliament in december 2001 after the the mumbai terrorist attack in november 2008 and the attack on pathan court air base in january 2016 pakistan claims to proscribe groups and individuals but this is confined only on paper actually terrorist groups and individuals continue their activities without hindrance pakistan has not shown any serious intent to address the legitimate concerns of india and the international community despite the media interviews by pakistan's foreign minister and former president musharraf acknowledging the presence of jaish e mohammed in pakistan the spokesperson of the pakistani armed forces openly denied the presence of jaish e mohammed in pakistan in an interview on 6th march this statement is a sufficient proof that pakistan still remains in a state of denial we remain resolute in a determination to persuade the international community of the necessity of compelling pakistan to move beyond mere words and to show credible verifiable and sustained actions we have and we will continue to act with responsibility and maturity our armed forces continue to maintain strict vigil and will remain determined in the defense of the nation and its citizens